Hi, it's Kiffin LeBates here, and I'm out in the Finnish rain to talk about charity token projects. So these are projects where enthusiastic people, often young, have decided that it would be great to use a blockchain instantiated cryptocurrency or token in order to incentivize people to do good things. It could be raise money for orphans in Africa. It could be to ensure that uh, recycling happens more efficiently or that trees are planted or something like that. And in the past, I've received invitations to uh, Zoom meetings in order to discuss the mechanics behind these blockchain projects. And I uh, used to join those meetings for free to discuss these ambitious and enthusiastic projects. But these days, I tend to turn these kind of approaches down. And this is for a number of reasons. Uh, one is that I've not seen any of them actually get off the ground. The idealism behind them is admirable, but unfortunately, there's not usually the maturity or the understanding of the problem domain that actually allows them to go anywhere. And I think I've talked about this before in some videos. The second thing is that there's a disconnect between charity and tokens. And I will talk about that at the end of this video. I do have to mention the second reason why these projects often don't go well. And that is because the area is also rife with scammers. Scammers see putting the charity label on their scam as a great way to lower people's resistance or defenses in order to extract money from them. So it's a problem and it's a terrible shame because a lot of these projects have very good ideals, but they get swamped out by the people who are looking to defraud other people. And now I'll return to the third point, which is that the way that blockchain systems work is through incentivization. And the incentivization is a financial one. The idea is that you have skin in the game. You have value locked up in the blockchain that you have placed there. And the expectation is that you will get a reward by participating in the um, blockchain community. This is how they fundamentally at a base level function. And one of the problems I have seen over the past with charity blockchain projects is they completely miss this point. They believe that the um, idealism and the desire to improve the world that we live in will be enough to encourage part people to actually participate and make a going concern of the uh, project. And unfortunately, the sad fact is that um, no matter how noble a cause is, it's not the way that we are motivated. This is why we've ended up in the mess that we are in with oceans polluted and global warming and the continued use of fossil fuels and all the other problems that modern society has brought about on itself. And that is that at a fundamental level, people are motivated by, well, greed, really, by the desire to make a profit. Um, they may have uh, positive charitable instincts at the top level, but at the base level, everybody wants to do well and thrive and prosper. And we have a basically capitalist system in order to provide that. And really the only way that these kinds of um, uh, projects can succeed is through the threat of force by a government if you don't comply. We have this with health and safety standards and consumer protection, and we have it now with all sorts of environmental laws that are being passed. These are the things that prove effective. I haven't seen a, an environmental project that actually has a suitable incentive to do something that doesn't make commercial sense in the uh, local sphere that the project is operating. It's the tragedy of the commons. The fact is that if you have a commons that anybody can help themselves to, then there's no one individual in charge of it to make sure that it's maintained properly and everybody takes more than they give because that's the way to make the most profit. And as a result, the commons suffers and is ultimately destroyed. And unfortunately, I can't see how blockchain can solve this problem either, because as I said, Ultimately, the incentives in a blockchain environment are financial and um, they rely on people using the system, having significant skin in the game so that they maintain the honesty of the system. So uh, that's today's rather pessimistic post on good causes. I'm sorry that it's such a downer, but uh, you've got to look at the world and in my case, call it as you see it. 
Hope you found this interesting. Uh, do leave some comments if you uh, disagree with me. I imagine there will be some people who think I'm totally barking up the wrong tree. And uh, I look forward to those comments because that's the most interesting part to me of these posts. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video soon. Bye for now.